Hey guys, my name is June from 3Q Bros, and today I actually have a video for you guys. So, uh, on behalf of all 3Q Bros, I'd like to apologize. We haven't really been making our videos. Um, so yeah, this is a video uh, to make up like about three weeks of not making videos. But from this Friday 4th, we should be able to uh, go back to our original schedule and have a new video up for every Friday. And if we don't, uh, you can leave comments that are like, where are our videos, or something like that. It doesn't really matter, but <clears throat> I do promise you that I'll attempt to make a video if Eugene and Andre don't. So this is me making a video because Eugene and Andre didn't. Uh, so I just got a random cube that I haven't really reviewed yet. So this is a Sheng Shao 6x6. And so I'm going to review my Sheng Shao 6x6. Uh, also, I do have two octahedrons in the background which I can make a video on a later time, uh, a solving tutorial-like video rather than a review because I'm pretty sure I've already done a review on these puzzles. Uh, solving them aren't that difficult. Uh, I'd say solving a 4x4 octahedron would be, would be more dif much more difficult, but none, mm, I'll still make a video because why not? <clears throat> and you guys like to see videos. So. Well, I have my Shangshao 6x6 right here. And I'm going to do start the review. So <clears throat> I'm going to do inner layer turning and then outer layer turning. So I'm going to start with turning. So uh, turning in general is very smooth compared to any other 6x6 that I've ever seen. Uh, I definitely recommend this cube over many other cubes. Uh, the only cubes that may be a good cube other than other than the Sheng Shao's are the V-Cube, uh, but I've never seen a V-Cube actually. Not doing a review in a while has really made my speaking bad, I guess, so bear with me while I try to get through this review. So yeah, V-Cube 6 is pretty good, and there is a modification that was created, uh, and it is also, it enhances the 6x6 quite a bit. So inner layer turning pretty smooth. Uh, corner cutting and in inner layers is pretty uh, risky because it can pop easier. Like I, I really don't want to extend its limits, so I'm just gonna stop there. And corner cutting here, just outer layer, decent. And turning in general, uh, it's really smooth, quite fast for a large large, large order cube, a 6x6, six six, and st still pretty fast. <clears throat> uh, there's not much to say, it's just a really good cube in general, and I definitely recommend this to anyone who wants to speed cube for a 6x6, six six. Uh, but I'll talk about the sticker quality, because some people are concerned about the sticker quality at times. So as you can see, there are a few small chips right there, uh, it's, the camera's not focused, but well, now it is. There's a chip on the green side. Let me check. There's a small chip on the blue side. Doesn't really matter, but... And a small chip on the orange corner. And a few chips here and there on the white side. Uh, <clears throat> so, sticker quality is actually really good, I'd say. Because on other puzzles, like, you can see my Rubik's in the background. Just really worn out. Stickers are pretty bad. But on the Shang Shao, the stickers are pretty good, actually. So, let's move on to uh, the, me the mechanism. Alright, so I have dissembled only four pieces. I don't really want to dissemble anymore. Uh, so that's what it looks like somewhat on the inside. As you can see, I'll turn it. Yeah, and so how the pieces will interlock. So I have my two red and blue edges here. And they just fit in into the core, I guess. All right. And then the center pieces. These are the outside center pieces. They have this long knob here, and an inside center piece. Oh, uh, with a shorter knob. But they all fit in into each other, and it's pretty convenient how it works. I have no clue how this fits together. It's so like, no, it's not. But. Uh, that's the mechanism. A really quick um, shortcut to the mechanism. Uh, the edge pieces lock in pretty well like this. So that's pretty convenient. 
these two pieces. Oh, they're locking like that. Okay, I found it. So they lock in pretty well too. So I believe there's an anti-popping mechanism to make it uh, to reduce popping, of course. And it's pretty good. I've never had a pop with this cube ever. Uh, I have with the 7x7, I have with the 8x8, I have with the 9x9, but with the 6x6, I've never had a pop. So, the anti-popping mechanism is definitely working for me. And so I'll just uh, reassemble this cube and move on to the next part. Alright, so I hope that was a long enough video for you guys. I probably will be making another one soon, just so I have another video for next week. Uh, probably for the octahedrons because they're here handy, so you can expect a video, and I'm going to tell you that you can expect a video because I really haven't, or all of TCB really hasn't made any videos, but we will keep making videos, uh, if Eugene and Andre don't, I will, so don't even worry, uh, but I assure you they will make videos. So that was my review on the Shengshao 6x6, and once again I apologize on behalf of 3 Cube Bros for not making any videos lately, but Eugene, Andre, or I will be making a new video very soon, and if the next video, that which contains just, just a review or a tutorial of me solving cubes will be on the Octahedron, and yeah, so you can expect that video one day, and... Thanks for watching, that was my review on the Shangshao 6x6.